Good afternoon, everybody. Maskata kanaka kwa mirimose. Good afternoon, everybody. Maskata kanaka kwa mirimose. I still don't hear everybody. And this is what I say. Maybe it's because everybody can't hear me. Can you hear me at the back? 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 Can you hear me at all right, that's good. I greet you all in the name of our Lord and Savior. Amen. We thank the Lord for yet another chance to study the Word of God. Tonight. I invite you to listen and pray as you listen. Don't let anything disturb you because just when I am beginning I am ending. I'll ask our brother by the PA, please help me here. I, I think it's not doing what it's supposed to. The subject this morning is simply entitled The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you this afternoon for the privilege that is ours to have an open Bible in front of us. You've done it in the past, you did it yesterday, and again this afternoon I ask that you sit next to somebody here, that you talk to your children. Father, I have only two loaves and five fish, but you can feed 5,000 with that. Mm. You said to Ezekiel, can these bones live? Mm. And then you told him to prophesy, and he prophesied. The bones began to rattle, to move, and lo and behold, they were standing. Mm. After he had preached an army for the Lord of hosts was standing. Mm. We pray, Lord, that this afternoon you might raise your army right here. From the dead that are here, may they come out people who are alive for Jesus Christ. Mm. In his name we pray. Amen. Amen. A woman on a mission. Mazmai Arpachinangwa. I am a strong believer that mission is automatic for the Christian. When one becomes a child of God, mission just springs out of the heart. My Wife, Mzimai Wangu, who I love dearly, we are not going to know this as Guru Ni Wangu Zagari. No doubt. We testify to you, Aja Pupira, that I will defend her with my life if anything bad happens. Why is it going to pay me to judge? Nigga, I told you, no one zero is under no go. Na kunya go na upeni wangu kana chime nchika itika kuari. Nobody taught me to do this. Apa na kandi zisa nyayo. I just find myself defending and looking out for my wife. The reason is there is love in my heart for them. Nobody has taught me how to provide for my children. No one took me to school on how to be a father. It all springs out of a heart full of love. Amen, church. So 
when the Christian is in love with Jesus Christ, by default, they cannot help but tell the world. When Jesus is in the heart, you want to tell everybody what he has done for you. And so the reason why we struggle to get the women on the mission is because they do not have Christ as the love of their hearts. So the challenge we must address is the challenge of Christ in the heart. The verse is in 1 Timothy chapter 5 chapter 5 and I'm reading verse 5 and verse number 6. 1 Timothy chapter 5 verse 5 and verse number 6. Now she that is a widow indeed and desolate and trust and trusted in God and continued in supplication and prayer night and day. But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. One more time, verse number six. But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. Move with me quickly to the book of Matthew chapter 8. And we now read from verse number 21. Remember we are talking about the walking dead. Another of his disciples said unto him, Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father. But Jesus said unto him, follow me and let the dead bury the dead. Follow me and let the dead bury the dead. The question we must answer this afternoon is how can the dead bury the dead? Hello? Hello? Are you listening? How can the dead bury the dead? It suggests to you and I that there are two kinds of dead people. Those who are physically dead and those who are spiritually dead. Are you listening? The spiritually dead and the physically dead. The verse is in First John, you know, first John, chapter five, chapter five, verse number twelve. Number verse number verse twelve. First John, John Okutanga, John Okutanga, chapter five, chapter five, verse number twelve, verse twelve. And he says, I know he that hath the Son, Uyanumanakoman, has life. I know and he that hath not the Son hath not life. Are you here? Yeah. He that has the Son is alive. He that does not have the Son is not alive. This means they are dead. He that does not have Jesus, the Son of God, is dead. Dead, even though they are alive. And so, right here, there are people who are dead. 
Living dead. Walking dead. Dead. Why are you listening to the sermon? Because while they have the women's ministry's uniform, they don't have the son. And he that does not have the son does not have life. That means you are dead. What do you have this morning? Do you have the son? If you don't have the son, you are alive physically, but you are dead spiritually. If that's clear, let me hear you say amen. The walking dead. They are dead people among us. Moving around us every day. Thinking they are alive. But they are dead. Because they don't have the sun. Now let's do a bit of learning here. Adam and Eve, Adam and Eve were created alive physically and alive spiritually. Are you still listening? You and I were born physically alive but spiritually dead. One more time. Adam and Eve were created physically alive and spiritually alive. After they sinned, the Bible says, You shall surely die. And they died spiritually first. Sin kills you spiritually. And when they disobeyed God, they died spiritually. They became physically alive, but spiritually dead. So you and I, as sons of Adam and Eve, are born physically alive but spiritually dead. If you're here, let me hear you say amen. Walking dead. Who are alive physically but dead spiritually. Let the dead bury the dead. But you follow me. What Jesus was saying here, let those who are physically alive but spiritually dead be concerned with burying the dead over following me one more time listen very carefully let those who are spiritually dead go and bury the physically dead instead of choosing me you follow me you follow me and leave those who are spiritually dead to put funerals ahead of Jesus. Let the dead bury the dead. But you follow me. That's if you are alive. The story here is about priority. Who is king? And who is ahead? Funeral or Jesus? Hello? Hello? The dead spiritually will choose the funeral above Jesus. Are you here? Am I talking to somebody? There are things that disturb us that shouldn't disturb us. We should never choose certain things above Jesus. If you are 
spirit you are alive, you know that following Jesus is more important. You should hear some of the excuses of why some people are not here. Let the dead bury the dead. You follow me. Don't let small little things disturb you from following Jesus. He that puts anything ahead of Jesus is still dead spiritually. You follow me. Now, I've told you the problem, but I must also tell you the solution. You and I are born spiritually dead, but physically alive. To be spiritually alive, we must be born again. Are you here? Unless a man be born again. John 3, verse number 5. chapter 3, verse number 5. Verily, verily, I say unto you, unless a man is born of water, that's baptism. And of spirit. That's uh, conversion. He cannot see or enter the kingdom of heaven. In these last days we are living in. God is looking for women who are born again, who are alive physically and spiritually. Those who are concerned with following him, let the dead bury the dead. Let the dead go to Makandiwa. Follow me and let the dead bury the dead. I know that you think you are alive. And you must be thinking he's not talking about me. So I thought I would tell you some characteristics of the dead. Are you listening? As a pastor, I do a couple of funerals. And one of the funerals I did led me to Chitungwiza General Hospital to help identify a body. When we walked into the mortuary, there was a smell in that room. The one thing in the back of my mind was do it quickly and get out of there. It was uncomfortable for me to see so many dead people. And so we identified the body and quickly came out. I had my, 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 my hand on my nose because I couldn't uh, stand the smell of decaying human flesh. But let me tell you something I learned. When I got in there, I was the only one complaining. I was. There were 20 other people in there. But I was the only one complaining. The reason was I was alive. And they were dead. 
the living are not comfortable with the dead. The living are not comfortable with the dead. The living find it impossible to be together with the dead. The living want to run away from the dead. But the dead can't smell anything. The dead can't see if there's anything wrong. One way to know if you are dead or alive is to look around you. Are you here? <laughs> Pastor, shall I say that? Pastor, shall I say that? Pastor, shall I say that? If your shawari does nakua, if your friend does nakua, and you are able to call him shawari, the reason is, you are also dead. Yes. <laughs> are you here, church? <laughs> the dead flock together. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> She's my friend, but the way she dresses and the things she does, I don't agree. That's a lie! You are dead also! Because the living and the dead don't walk together. Let the dead bury the dead! You, you, you follow me! The dead are not comfortable with the living. So if your friends are dead, oh, someone's a good, a good means you are also dead. You are going to have food. Are you here? What are you I also learned that is a jagal. That legion was spiritually dead. And so he found his home among the dead. Because he was dead. The dead find other dead. And do things with the dead. And also behave as if they are dead. But the dead know nothing. Hello, church. The dead know nothing. The dead don't even know they are dead. You don't know that you are dead. Follow me. It's because they are dead. That's why they commit adultery. It's because they are dead. That's why they're late for church. Are you listening? It's because they are dead. That's why they can't keep the Sabbath. And at 8 o'clock on Friday night, they're still cooking Sabbath. It's because they are dead. That's why they are texting while I'm speaking. It's because they are dead. That's why they're talking at the back. They're dead. Dead. Walking dead. It's because they are dead. That's why they don't like evangelism. It's because they are dead. That's why there's no tithe and offering from them. It's because they are dead. That's why the husbands won't come to church. Because they are dead. Are you 
Let the dead mm. bury the dead. You follow me. You follow me. Jesus yes. told Nicodemus yes. unexpressively that no one can enter the kingdom of heaven except he be born again of water and of spirit. I know that many here have been born of water. But I don't know how many have been born of spirit. Unless a man is born of water and of spirit, baptism and true conversion, Christ in the heart, with the Son of God, then only then, he has life. There are many here who were born in this church. But I want you to know you can never really be born in the church. You can only be born again into the church. You can't be born into the remnant. You can't be born into the remnant. You must be born again. Even if your father is the pastor, elder, doesn't matter. Born again. Born again. Born again. Born again. Born again. One way only. Nicodemus, one way. Nicodemus, no matter how rich you are, one way. No matter how much you know the verses, one way. To be born again. Alive physically, but alive spiritually also. Heads are bowed, eyes are closed. I want to pray for somebody. Jesus is talking to you, Madam. He is saying to you, you've been in this church for a long time, but you haven't been born again. You were born of water, yes, but you were not born of spirit. And you are in danger of missing the kingdom of heaven because you have not been born again spiritually. You are still dead, walking dead. Sitting in the choir but dead. Leading in the church but dead. Preaching but dead. Chorusting but dead. And today, Jesus has brought this message for you to give you a chance to be born again spiritually. And if today, you are saying, I truly now want to repent. I want to be born of water and of spirit. I want to follow Jesus above all. Born again. If you want to be born again, I'm going to ask you to walk from where you are because we're going to pray together. Born again. Come forward. I want to be born again. Stand up, come to the front. God bless you. you. Don't wait for anybody. There will be no chorus to singing here. It's Jesus' voice and you to be born again. Come forward, good mother. The chance is yours. God bless you. I see you. Don't look around. This is not your uh, your gospel. This is between Jesus and his child. Heads are bowed, eyes are closed. If you want to stand up for yourself, just stand up and come to the front. We're going to pray together right here to be born again. Not uh, what people uh, talk about uh, and the praises we get from men. True 
conversion. People don't know what's in our hearts. People don't understand what happened in our homes. But God knows you have not yet been born again. And you need true repentance. Born again. Born again. This is your chance. It might never come this way again. Choose life. Choose life. Who that has not the son has not life. And who that has the son has life. If you are not sure that you have the son, you don't have the son. Those people who have the son are not sure that you have the son. You don't have the son. You have the son. You have the son. You have the son. They know they have the son. If you are not sure, you don't have the son. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. I truly want to repent. Follow me. Follow me. Don't follow friends. Follow me. about burying the dead. I see you anyway. But you need to Heads are bowed, eyes are closed. I'm going to go to the house. I don't want you to look at them. You bow your heads and pray. This is your time to pray. Bow your heads and pray. This is your time to pray. This is not a game. The one I want to see with eyes open is the one coming up front here. We don't want cheap mentality. Of just following what everyone else is doing. This is a serious call. Choose life for yourself. Alone. Leave this Congress with the assurance of forgiveness, with the assurance of the Son of God in your life. Ah, listen to me. How can you wear that uniform? But Christ is not in the heart. Useless. What kind of mission can you go to when Jesus is not in the heart? Let the dead bury the dead. You follow me. Let the musika be second place to Jesus. Crossing borders, looking for money, looking after family, let it all be secondary to Jesus. You follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Is there somebody else who wants to follow Jesus? Somebody else who wants to follow Jesus? A true repentance this morning. A true repentance this morning. God bless you. I see you coming from the back. Quickly join now. There is still a chance for you. That's why we've come to this place. Not to entertain each other. Not to have a good time. This is the gospel of Jesus. Christ. He has come to seek and save those who are lost. Follow me. Let the dead bury the dead. Choose life. God bless you. Good mother, I see you coming. God bless you, I see you standing. God bless you at the back there. Somebody else. 
You need to leave it now. True repentance. It's a sorrow for sin and the turning away from it. Not just standing, but a change of direction in life. The things I used to do, I don't do them anymore. The things I used to say, I don't say them anymore. The things I used to touch, I don't touch them anymore because I finally chose to give my everything to Jesus Christ alone. There is somebody else. We want to pray now. Before I pray, quickly stand. Quickly stand. Come to the front. To be born again. To be born again. That's what we are asking for. Those who want a true conversion. Follow me. I see some coming. Move quickly. We're about to pray. Start the fashion show. Quickly come to the front. God bless you. I see you. Famba mchuya. Famba mchuwa na Mukana ndoi. We gotta pray now. Taakuna matayeshi. When I'm gonna give Pastor Chino. Daakupa Pastor Chino. To pray for us. Kutwati na matiri. Wala kufamba mchufamba mchuya. Chinamata, Sangano Shukuna Matir Marangat Bassi Mustarababa Remana Kuman and Zimunuera Mashtain Mari Pamaska Tesuranas Satana Chipej of Takuchina Imimari Munutuariko Maskata no Mari Namo kuna diabolos, makoro koto kwa muri mwari. Mkati kuwia kwa mtazume chete, denga rose no zarane mfaro. Shino mwari do shirikitika pa maskatano, wawuyane nunazawo mwari. Imi mwari itikaye nyo kuzazama ya mchene kule wawuya kwa muri. Itikaye nyo kukomborela. Sarangari la kutadza kwa taka kuitirai. Maruangu na mpolesu. Wapa isi mbaro kumira mkatume nika ya kaipasha kadai. Ima ine wame wakagara amai awo. Na gogo awo. Waripampata wa kusaruza. Warikufunga kutanga afone la mani wali diaspora. Asimi kuyange shakadara mlotu meyane menga shino tuhuya. Wakomborele ipo wali kuhuya. Namo rasha uya tishina mata. Namo rasha uya tapeta kuna mata. Asi zose nga zitwe. Kutirenyu zita rikudwe. Sunungurai wa disaida ubabatizwa. Namo rane mee china wa sunungurei. Namo kolano vakuno pisa wa sunungurei. Namo rano rota wa chidzigiriwa wa sunungurei. Namo rari kuchaka wa rume wa katiza zimba. Because of this baptism, Marokudenga, Vasunungure, Ugatime Goreri no Mlari, Rana Anna Wakanda Vasinavana, Makala Poromi Samgat Goreri no Panguadzino, Corona William Shalane Mana, Ibate Jose Javar Kuchaka, Komorera in Sangano no Mlari, Rangaria in Rangar Melenu, Ramashandisa Maskatan, Rangaria in Rangutunga Miram Sangan. Renyu zita rikudwe. Kuna kwa yukitwe panyika. Neku Singapore. Amen. Tenu mbanyi mare jeu.